Hello guys, now that I'm back to making videos regularly, I figured that every Wednesday, instead of doing uh, viruses or something like that, it would be a generally technology related videos, mainly on my vintage computer collection. So if you guys like that idea, let me know. And first, on the chopping block, we'll be taking a look at the K-Pro 2. And this is the first computer I've gotten that runs the CPM uh, operating system. It has 64 kilobytes of RAM and not too much to talk about it as I don't know of any malware for the platform. So I can't really show you any of that. But we'll take a look at the computer running. So here is the K Pro 2. Looking at it straight on with the floppy disk drives and the screen. Now it is monochrome and it has two single sided double density floppy disk drives. Or they might even be single sided, uh, single density. So they have a relatively low capacity compared to something like the Compact Portable as they will hold about either 90 kilobytes or 180 kilobytes of data on each disk. So mine's a little bit different than other versions of the K-Pro 2 I've seen on the internet as the floppy disk drives are arranged differently. I don't know what's up with that, but maybe it's a, some special K-Pro that I've come into my collection. So we'll take a look at it running and try out a few programs. Alright, here we go. Time to boot up the K-Pro 2. I'm going to flip the switch here. The screen warms up. Get a message. Let me zoom in on it. Not really focusing. Let me play with the brightness a bit. Anyway, it says K Pro 2, please insert your diskette into drive A. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, I can do that in the dark. Let's see, where's that diskette drive at? in close up and there we go the computer boots CPM version 2.2 has 64 kilobytes of RAM now typing is going to be quite difficult as it is pitch black in this room but that's all right hopefully the TV tray I have this sitting on doesn't collapse do a directory listing if I can hit enter, I don't know where it is. Alright. So, prints out the directory listing. We'll try running new word. Hopefully you can read that. Seems like it might be legible. But the camera screen is pretty tiny, so I can't really tell. So, new word 1.31. This new word owned by University of North Carolina. So it's come quite a ways here to Plano, Texas. So we can press D to get a document. Specify the name of the document. How about YouTube? Ah. Backspace, where are you? Alright, so now we can use the word processor. Key Pro, that's not right. K car K Cal K Pro 2. In the dark. See as you can hear there's a little speaker beep every time you hit a key. It's a little annoying. So it shifts lines, it's primitive word processor, great for the day, it allows you to get your work done. And that is really all I have to show you about this computer. Um, like I said, not much malware out there aside from a few extremely rare and hard to find Trojans that have probably disappeared off the face of the earth by now. 
So, that's really about it for the K-Pro 2. Thanks for watching and let me know if you want to see more of these types of vintage computer videos in the future, every Wednesday. Thanks guys.